It is Vlogmas Day 16, and I am Shayna of The Wealth Five, and I create videos to help you eliminate debt, grow your income, and build wealth. For Vlogmas, I have been taking you along with me so that you can have a peek into my day-to-day -day life. And for today, we are doing something a little different. I'm gonna take you back in time to tomorrow, or to yesterday. <laughs> back in time to yesterday so as you can see the process of me getting ready we're going to get ready for a photo shoot that i'm going to do today it's a diy photo shoot so that way i can have photos for my businesses for the wealth vibe website and also for the public health website that i plan to launch in the new year so let's get to it In preparation to take pictures, I am about to wash this hair so that way, one, it's clean, and then secondly, my hair is more defined and kempt. So I'm about to wash my hair, and I'm going to show you what my wash routine is. These are the products that I use to wash my hair. So this is the shampoo that I use, and it's clearly running low. It is by Ren Pure or Originals. My sister actually introduced me to this. It's relatively inexpensive. I like it. It comes in these huge bottles for like $6, and it has a pump. So it's very convenient, and I like how it washes my hair. It cleans my hair. So it's no sulfates, parabens, dyes, gluten, phthalates, propylene, glycol. glycol. So I think it does have um, silicone, yep, silicone in here. I don't have a problem with silicone, so I use this. Then um, for the conditioner, it's also by Rempure Originals. Um, and same thing, zero sulfates, parabens, dyes, gluten, phthalates, and propylene glycol. And this one definitely has silicone, yep, silicone. So, I think silicones are perfectly fine to help with the manageability of your hair. And there are silicones that are water-based, so they don't leave a residue on your hair. So, I'm perfectly fine with silicones. And then, also, if you're straightening your hair or doing any type of heat um, style on your hair, silicones also are very good for protecting the heat and also for maintaining the style. So, um, I, I like silicones. <laughs> So these are the products that I use. You will see that the, the shampoo and the conditioner are like two different ones. Like this one is the biotin and collagen one. And then the conditioner is the coconut cream one. It just depends on what's available. It doesn't make a difference to me um, which one I use. I've used other ones as well from this line. Like the, um, what is it? The, the bamboo one as well. I like them all, but these are the ones that I have right now. So I'm about to wash my hair. I do not detangle my hair beforehand because my hair will rip and I have a whole bunch of knots going on in my hair. Like all of this is knotted and stuff. You can see like I can't go that far. And so to me, to try and section off my hair means that I would have to then detangle my hair dry and that's not best for my hair. So I just get in the shower shampoo it and I focus on my scalp and then pull the rest of the shampoo down to the ends and then I detangle when I put the conditioner in my hair and I just detangle from roots to end so I'm about to do that right now
I am out of the shower and I have since put on clothes, washed my face, and also pulled out a few other things that I'm going to be using in my hair. So quite a few minutes have passed and my hair has been up in this, you know, I don't know, up in here in this clip since I got out of the shower and I haven't done anything to it. No extra water, no towel drying, anything. So I'm going to work with my hair like this. So what I'm going to do now is first I'm going to put in leave-in conditioner. The first leave-in conditioner that I put in, it actually usually is the only leave-in conditioner that I use, but um, I did start using another leave-in conditioner simply because when I didn't have any more of this, I went to the store and purchased more and um, it was by recommendation of my sister. So I use two leave-in conditioners now, but this is the leave-in conditioner that I made so if you have been on my channel for a while you know that I um, used to have a hair care line and this is the leave-in conditioner from that line and so um, I still use this this is what I'm about to put in my hair first I like it because it's super lightweight you can see that it's like almost kind of like watery so I'm going to take the conditioner put it in my hand I use this generously generously and I just work it all in throughout my hair. So now I'm going to take this leave-in conditioner, which is from Myel Organics, and it's the pomegranate honey leave-in conditioner. And I do like this. It actually has a lot of the same ingredients that I have in my leave-in conditioner, but it's a little thicker. I'm going to take a bit of this, and I mainly kind of focus this on my ends. So I'll take that and shave moisture. Coconut enhancing smoothie. I don't have a lot of this left. And honestly, I probably would typically use a bit more than what's left in here, but I'm about to just finish the entire bit that's in here. Um, but I usually just take this, actually, some of the, you know, the protective film that's on it when you buy it is in there. So I usually just take this again and put it on my ends and also my roots. So I try to break up my hair when it's up in the roots so that I can get actually in my roots and not just um, on the top layer of my hair like this top layer. Like I go in and get the, the roots on the underneath sections as well. I'm using up every last bit so it's empty. And that's it in terms of prepping my hair for with um I guess moisturizing project products and so I would describe my hair right now as like similar to the if you can hear it's similar in sound to like macaroni and cheese sound that people like to uh, refer to so yeah super saturated with product so now what I'm going to do is take a uh, rat tail comb, what, what else would they call these? A tail comb. <laughs> a tail comb and um, part my hair. So I already kind of have a part, but it needs to be defined, obviously, because I'm not going to walk around with an undefined part. So I'm going to give myself a curved part. And really, I should have dyed my hair. I have gray hair. I have a lot of gray hair. You might not be able to see that I have a lot of gray hair, but I do. I have been gray or getting gray since I was 16. So essentially, all the hair that you see here <laughs> is naturally gray, but I've dyed it. Um, and so my roots are, in some places, starting to you know get gray a bit, but you probably can't see it on video. Yeah, my hair is pretty much all gray. <laughs> like, yes, I've been gray for about 16 years. Since I was 16, I've been getting gray. And I'm about, I am actually 32. I am 32, so I've been gray for 16 solid years. So, um, 
Now what I'm going to go now what I'm going to do is take Eco Salad Gel. I bought this entire huge tub. It's a five pound tub of Eco Salad Gel. It was like super cheap, like less than ten dollars. So I was like, I'm gonna need gel. I'm gonna use gel. So I might as well just buy a huge tub of it. Eleven ninety eight is how much I pay for it. So I think that's a pretty good deal because when the smaller ones are running for like two to four dollars anyway. So this is like multiples of that. So it's a huge saving. So I'm gonna open this. <laughs> I gotta drop my hands. I'm gonna open this and then slick down my edges and my part and then start to define my curls. Also using the gel. And I don't think I mentioned anything about the brush. This is kind of like a demo brush, but I bought this from Target from um, the brand Evolve. Okay, and I'm taking gel. Oh, it's a good amount. And I'm running through my hair. And I'm taking about this much every single time. Okay, so now that all the gel is in my hair, I'm going to actually go through my hair now in small sections and define my curls. So, what I do is part going from the part that I created going um, vertically. And so... Now I'm gonna take the brush and put it in my hair like so, turning it so that the back of it is almost touching my hair. So I'm smoothing my hair out. And then when I get towards the ends, I shake it to separate. And then that's it, do it again. Take my hair, part it. Move my hair so it looks straight, and then when I get to the ends, I shake to separate the curls, and then I let go. And I keep doing like that until I get all across my head. So with these longer pieces in length, I cut it in half. So as I part it, I go like this, and I typically just flip it over here. But you could clip it. Might clip it. Smell. I'm basically taking the back of my my hand and, or the palm of my hand and smoothing the other side. And then shake. So you can see that these curls are a lot more defined than these ones. They're a little bit more chunky and I think messier. And also when they, if I were to leave my hair in like two sides, this would be a lot more frizzy and um, undefined as it dries and this would be more um, defined and have virtually no frizz and be clumped together. Okay, so when I get to this section where it's like right over my ear, then I start to part from here forward into my face. So I'm going to take the comb and make a section like this. And this part I do put up normally with a clip. So 
a bit. And I do the same technique. So I go from underneath. And I smooth. You gotta make sure you don't have any um, knots or anything when you do this. So there we go. And then start to jiggle. And let go. So the jiggling to me is kind of in replacement of like shaking my entire head to like separate the curls. Okay, so when I get to this piece, I start to go up as if I was going towards the other ear. So like this. And the reason for all these different directions is because I'm especially trying to get the most definition up top here. Okay, so that's it for my hair. Maybe if I have like areas where it might be a little straight, then what I will do is take my hands here and cup it and go up. And I don't need to do that because I think it's all gonna curl correctly. But also if my hair is like dry down, either while I'm styling it or after I finish styling it and I realize that like some of the curls are not curling right, what I'll do is I'll use this water bottle here and then I'll spray like, I can show you, I'll spray like the length of my hair. So I'll go, this water bottle needs some water in it. Let me put some water in it so I can demonstrate. So I would take the water bottle and I would spray down the length of my hair. Like this. And then, actually I use this water bottle in the mornings when I'm, or whenever I undo my hair from a pineapple and I'll spritz the ends and I'll just go like this. <laughs> and I really like this water bottle because it gives like an even distribution of the water compared to like your normal spray bottles. So that's it for styling my hair. And so I'll let my hair air dry just like this. And then once it's dry, I'll put my hair up in a um, pineapple using a um, scrunchie. Using this scrunchie, it's wet right now, but when it's dry, it's like, it's just a fluffy kind of um, scrunchie. And I like to use this, even though this is cotton, I like to use it because it gives a loose hold on my hair. So that's what I do. Let me show you how much hair come out of my head. Mind you, this is not typical because I just recently washed my hair on Thursday. And so typically I don't wash my hair um, for like seven days. So there's usually a lot more hair coming out of my head for a week because it just gets more matted and um, obviously shedding, natural shedding and all those things. So this is everything if I put it in a, a kind of compact um, ball. And that's it.
So I'm about to steam these outfits. Got my steamer here. I love this thing. This is what I will be wearing for the photos that I take today. This um, purple shirt. And then this kind of, it's not polka dot, but like brush painted white shirt. And then this one. Um, I got this mainly because it matches like the logo colors for the well vibe. Then I'm also going to wear this dress. I actually took photos in this dress last year. Um, I went to a studio and everything. My boyfriend actually, um, I think it was a birthday gift. Yeah. Um, and I took professional photos. However, I didn't like my shoes that I wore. And so, and also my hair was in a ponytail and that's typically not how I wear my hair. So I kind of want to take some photos that'll be more reflective of how I look on a day-to-day -day basis. And this color goes really well with like public health colors. So that's why I wanna wear this. This will be for my public health website. These other outfits will be for um, the Well Five. So I'm about to change into my outfits and Bay is going to be my photographer. So yes, I actually like the idea of taking my own photos. You have a little bit more control. You don't have to be under anybody's time constraint, rushing, and all of that. And these photographers are pretty expensive, especially when you're talking about several outfits and potentially taking like longer than an hour. That stuff adds up. So DIY. Drop the ball. Point. So I'm finally done taking photos and all these photos should be used for my new website for the Well Five and also for the podcast that I hope to develop sometime in 2020, hopefully within by March. So I'm gonna have a website with that and everything. So I'm done taking photos. Now I gotta edit all of them. This is what happens when you create <laughs> things on a budget. You gotta be your own photographer. Well, really, Bay was a photographer. Thank you, Bay. But when you have a limited budget, you gotta be your own photographer. You gotta have your own studio. <laughs> and you gotta be your own editor. And you gotta be your own web designer, everything. So I'm doing it all on my own, but I'm really happy about all the photos that I took between today and I also took photos actually twice before this, <laughs> but I think I'm good on all the photos that I need to, you know, have for social media, for websites. If people ask for photos, I should be A1 from this point on. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes of me getting ready and doing a photo shoot. And that's it for Vlogmas Day 16. Catch you on the next one.